We can calculate uncertainties from graphs and this very often comes up in physics exams. For instance, I've made up some data, we have some voltage against current and we know that this point here corresponds to 15 volts. Notice that we have some error bars. Remember the length of an error bar is twice the absolute uncertainty. So this means that the value of this point is somewhere between 16 and 14 volts. What is the percentage uncertainty in this point? We could calculate that relatively easily. All we need to do is to do plus or minus our absolute uncertainty divided by a value times 100. Now our absolute uncertainty will just be 1. So that's going to be 1 volt divided by our value which is 15 volts times 100 which is around 6.7 Using all of the data points, we can also calculate the percentage uncertainty and the absolute uncertainty in the gradient. In order to do so, we need to draw the line of best fit, which aims to go through all the data points. But if that's not possible, we need an even spread of the points on either side of the line. We'll also need to draw the line of worst fit. The rule I tend to remember is that it's going from the bottom of the bottom error bar to the top of the top error bar, bottom of bottom to top to top. You can also do this the other way, that is the top of the bottom error bar to the bottom of the top like this and there are two possible lines of worst fit. The percentage uncertainty in the gradient will then be equal to the gradient of the line of worst fit, take away the gradient of the line of best fit, divided by the gradient of line of best fit times 100. If we need to estimate the absolute uncertainty in the gradient, this will just be equal to the difference between the two gradients. Now uncertainties and experimental skills come up every single year in physics exams and you need to have a look at this video 